Hi, welcome back. It's been a while, I know, but, um, hello. A lot of things have been happening in life. And to be honest, it's just been busy and I've been trying to figure stuff out. Exciting things coming, as I mentioned in previous videos. This video is just going to be a compilation of what I've been up to in the past couple of months and, you know, the trips I've been on. So that's gonna be cool. I'm excited to share that with you, but expect something really exciting to drop in the next month. I'm gonna release something and I'm very excited and I'm going to stick to vlogging and actually doing it and actually sticking to it because it's one of my goals and I know I hopped off that goal last year, but I'm determined to make it work this year. So enjoy, love you, subscribe, and um, have a great 2023. Every morning I was there, I would wake up super early and catch one of the first morning trains. I would arrive in the central Amsterdam station, which was about like 20 minutes, and I would try not to get hit by a bike, and I would then be arriving to this beautiful view. It was amazing. Also, I got so freaking lucky with the weather, even though I wasn't outside for that much of it, but it was so sunny for most of the time I was there. and. Honestly, I really want to go back now. There were a lot of vocal warm-ups and just singing random stuff. <laughs> And after every full day of recording, we would sit in a cafe, we would listen to the song, we would pick things out, we would fix things, and I would just walk home just so satisfied with what we were doing. I really felt like I was focused from morning till night and my brain was constantly on alert and I wanted to do everything possible to make this song the song. And honestly, this was really hard. We constantly had to switch from one studio to a different studio. We just had to be completely focused from morning till night and then we would also revisit the song every single day and it's honestly really hard to sing about something that was traumatizing to you and to really hone in on those feelings every single time you sing it so so yeah thankfully Alex was very patient with me in all my voice cracks and all of my little details where I critiqued every time I sang and when I was so frustrated with how it with how I was singing something because it just wasn't sounding like the first demo and I just appreciate that and you know we did what we could and we're trying to do our best Hi guys, today is January 22nd and today I am re-recording some of my vocals for four and uh, yeah, I haven't been able to do this for a while because I was sick and I couldn't sing and now I'm finally more or less okay. Yeah, this is my setup. No, technically you're not supposed to record next to the window but this is just like a more focused spot for me. I have the blanket for some sound proofing I guess um but I just don't I don't like the other corner corner I used to record in so we're just doing this it's a gloomy day it's perfect for this depressing song and um 
I'm just gonna re-record some vocals, label them correctly, and send them off to Alex for the mixing. The first thing actually I'm gonna do is I'm going to write down the bars in which I need to re-record. So I'm gonna listen to the song from beginning to end and then mark where I need to fix things. <laughs> provide a little bit of an update on what has been going on the last vlog that i posted on this channel is me moving to new york and um then i just kind of stopped because life got in the way stuff got in the way i went on trips i was really busy with work and honestly didn't feel like i had anything to contribute but now it's 2023 and i feel very refreshed and very rested and ready to just kind of take on the projects that have been on hold in my life and that includes this lovely channel and i guess i'll just update you on the things that have happened I moved to New York and just kind of started settling into the apartment, continued to work remotely for my job in DC, and then decided to take a risk and really push myself to start publishing music. And therefore, I flew to Amsterdam and uh, recorded my very first single that I will be releasing very, very soon. The single with one of my friends who I've known since high school and we used to perform together, we used to write together, and he will be and has been producing and mixing and mastering and just engineering the whole song in the creative way that you know I have envisioned. And it's been really awesome to work with him. So did Amsterdam. Saw my best friend in Amsterdam, stayed with her in Amsterdam, and it was just like the best time ever. We haven't seen each other in years properly, so it was amazing to just spend time with her at the same time as I was there. Came back, went to DC for work, came back, got sick, went to Prague for my, you know, annual New Year's, Christmas, holidays, birthday, celebration with my family and then saw my doctors there as usual and then came back here and now it's almost the end of january and we're going through some life changes but all for the better and i hope you keep me in your prayers and just wish me all the luck possible right now because there's just things happening that i don't want to speak about right now but i will in the future um and this year i will be releasing music i will be finally launching my profiles on the streaming networks and i'm just so excited there's so many things that i'm doing like for example i am also trying to book a photo shoot my spotify and my apple music networks i'm discussing a concept for designing the cover art i am talking to other artists and trying to see like what they have done when they first launched their independent artist music career so it's just a lot of work that goes into it and I'm also trying to market myself and market this new song that is going to be released in February and it's just very exciting and I'm really happy that I'm getting to finally put my creative side to work because you know since moving from DC I have very much struggled with I think my identity separate from my career and who I am outside of my career and that my career doesn't define me and I can also pursue passion projects, so that's what I'm doing. But, I don't know if you can hear the construction. I, yeah, I've been through kind of a whirlwind the past few months, but, and I've been sick and I've been stressed and I guess I'll leave it at that, but 2023 will be a good year. Um, obviously there are moments in my personal life where it's just very up and down because the Russian war in Ukraine is still ongoing and people still die every single day and they're killed and Ukrainians are being killed for being Ukrainian and it's just like, you know, it continues to be a constant in my life and it doesn't get easier, you just like find ways to deal with it 
and that's kind of how I feel about it and because it's become such a norm I can talk about it and just try not to be emotional about it but there are moments when obviously you see things in the headlines where your heart just stops and you think of these worst case scenarios but I did want to mention this because this is also something that affects me in my day-to-day -day operations and affects me emotionally affects me in conversations with other people and you know it's just something that i want to continue to talk about because it is part of my personality at this point um but yeah resources are always linked in my description always in my bio and in my instagram and i will continue to link those resources i think it's very important um to try and figure out ways that you can help with money and also with your voice so yeah good to be back nice seeing everybody and uh see you in the next video